plan today we're going to go over uh, remodeling a Fisher mountain bear wood stove to make it more efficient. These uh, pipes in here, these are rectangular tubing. The vertical one in the back is to superheat the air coming up into the T that goes across the top. In the T there's a bunch of holes, I believe there's 17 five thirty seconds holes and did the calculations to figure out how many holes it would take at that diameter to equal the, the the diameter inside of the tube to get a full injection of superheated air with that we filled the rest of the the box up with fire brick made a roof coming up the top you got to be careful to have it low enough to be below the exit pipe for um, or where you where you attach your your pipes for the exhaust to come off the back side's got to be low enough to clear that we came up at a slight angle and the goal is to try and make a fire boil in here actually to go in circles then uh, the T uh, or the uh, the rectangular bar across the front is to support everything uh, this uh, uh, couple piece of angle put together to support the bricks, put the bricks over the top to make a fire and the escape hole at the very front of that just before the horizontal part of the stove in the front part of the stove so the heat can escape, the exhaust can escape through there and go out the, the vent pipe. Here we gonna look at a different angle where you can see this a little bit clearer you can see the exhaust being able to escape just in front of where the roof is. From there we look at from underneath this is where the vertical pipe comes down through the floor. Have to drill four holes in the floor. Cut a hole in that. You want to make that tight so you can fill that up with weld. Weld a horizontal piece that comes across the front to to draw air through. This is where the welds are in the front. You see the uh, piece of rod coming out of the front that's for a flapper valve to be able to adjust the airflow going through the pipe cut a piece of metal so it fits fairly tightly in there and then weld it to that that rod you can adjust the opening for the airflow this is a picture of of the weld of holding that pipe on. It's important to have this rod fairly close to the front so you can wedge that that flapper valve in there and have access to to go ahead and be able to weld that. So here we see another view of of the weld and just the ability to adjust that and yes the front of the pipe put at a slight angle just so we could get the wire feed welder in there and and make it so this thing is totally bulletproof and solid so from here we back off we look inside the firebox with this going stacked full of wood it's important to push the wood to the back um, that way the flames heat the air coming up the pipe to superheat it so where it comes out of the bar in the front or on the top it will inject that air and make the fire boil like this if you remember what looking in your stove your fisher wood stove looks like the fire never has a boiling action like this and this is about as inefficient as you can get because the, um, the front door is open so it doesn't have a sealed box to really make this ultra efficient right here but you can see just how clean that's burning there's a little smoke coming off the front where the where the air is cycling through the door but from the back you see no smoke developing whatsoever which is really the goal when you don't have smoke you're burning all of your gases it's real efficient it's real clean it doesn't pollute the outside air it doesn't give you creosote buildup in your vent pipes this is looking at how the stove is set up yes it is sideways and yes that is a uh, a granite uh, on the wall actually where it mounts on the on the hearth is granite also you can see the the 
heat range on the on the stove there is right up in the optimal range which is where we want it and this is with the front door open so it's a lot easier to get this to go it's it's pretty critical to have the wood in the back this is looking from the outside this is where the stove completely going it's a nice clear day you see no smoke coming off of this whatsoever and no this isn't a trick photography where there's nothing going on because this is all the progression and in a moment we'll we'll see a you can see that the camera zooms in <coughs> just to prove that this is a video not just a picture okay so here we see the zoom in and if you look really closely you can see the heat waves coming off of the top of the vent pipe so we accomplished what the goal was it heats the home a lot better so if you like this video hit the like button we will continue to put things like this out as we develop more and more and just as we come to different experiences in life. So thanks. Have a great day.